Hello traders, Gary Wagner for Trending Markets, approximately 11.10 in Honolulu, 5.10 in New York. It is Thursday, 22nd day of October 2015. We did have an incredible upside surge in U.S. equities, triple digits in the Dow Jones Industrial Average, up 320 points, almost a 2% gain on the day, close at 17, 16. And of course, that close came in about 40 minutes ago. You can see on this daily chart the kind of upside surge that we saw today. And this upside surge absolutely broke above any kind of resistance that we saw in these prior tops right here. You'll really see the tell of the tape, so to speak, when we look at the standard and pours, but we are butt up against a really critical area, an area that I thought we would get to in the S&Ps. I talked about this yesterday, in fact, but I certainly wasn't expecting to see it today. And what I'm talking about is our moving averages and how they have been uh, so dynamic in terms of being able to forecast support and resistance areas and areas that this market might go to. Take a look at this chart. This, of course, is our Standard & Poor's 500 basis, the E-mini S&P 500, in which we have two basic simple moving averages. One, the red one, set at 50 days, and the blue long one set at a 200 day. Of course, that 200 day average is something traders look at for overall market breadth and direction. And when we do that, we talked about the fact over the last couple of days that we had this dynamic rally. Rally comes up as it does retrace. It's very, very shallow. And this little area, meaning the 50 day moving average was so insightful in terms of being able to find support in the marketplace itself and there we had just a dynamic runaway move that's this candle right here let me get my pointer out so you can see that but that's this candle right here dynamic move comes up and then over the last couple of days we had kind of a rounded top almost a couple of days of minor lower pricing kind of matches in this area but it absolutely not only found support but this move took us right up to that 200 day moving average now i expected it to come and test that 200 day moving average we've talked about that over the last three three weeks or so as this market was coming back up to me this is really a critical area because a break above this a break above this really to me signals a longer term extended rally that could actually now go and push up to the recent historical highs and actually take them out. And that traders is absolutely exciting. We get any kind of move above this on a closing basis, we're probably gonna take a stab at it. My only fear is that this would be a resistance area rather than a support area. For it to be a support area, of course, you've gotta barrel through it and then have an effective close above that. But if we do that, and that you know that's at 2053, you've got these recent highs here at 2125 or so, uh, maybe even a little bit higher but that's the area that we'd look to take out because that of course is our historical highs so as i said yesterday I, I think that we're going to see a play up to this point i just truly didn't expect that to happen today but with some of the earnings that came out and more importantly this move in the standard and poor's 500 had about a 33 percent increase in daily volume so you've got an, an extreme rally in solid solid increasing volume and that also it really predicts an extended rally in U.S. equities markets. So that's that's rather good. On some of the other markets that we look at, in terms of where they are, dynamic move in the dollar. Take a look at that, up at 96.36 up 133 points almost a full percent and a half if you look at the daily chart that's this chart look at this upside surge that we saw and that of course weighed quite heavily on the gold market today and we know that we don't really get any real resistance until about 96.57 so we'll have to see how gold reacts if in fact it, it goes to take these tops out and let me try to draw this as straight as I can across. So we're not quite at these tops, but very, very strong move. We haven't seen a move like this in a dollar in over, uh, what, about a month. You've got a strong move right here, but we haven't seen this in quite some time. So an incredible move to the upside in the U.S. dollar. The other market that we've been looking at is crude oil. Crude oil, in essence, 
pretty much unchanged on the day, up about 30 cents a barrel, but but no cigar. I still think we're going to see faltering prices, and I still think that oil has a ways to go. We really need to see if it can come back and break through 44. That's kind of a key area. We're trading at around 45.38. So that would, as I said, below 44 is going to signal quite a move down. But the dynamic play today, the move today that exceeded pretty much everything else without a question of a doubt has been the U.S. equities markets. Standard & Poor closing up incredibly solid, 2.35% up 47 points today, 20 55, 2055 and change. Gary Wagner for Trending Markets. We'll talk again tomorrow for the weekly wrap up and review. Bye bye.